Hey YouTube, today I will be talking about the top 10 essentials for an African cichlid aquarium. To start off, this is just my opinion, I might be forgetting things, if I'm forgetting anything, please comment below. But so, here's my number one. And actually, these are not in order, just here's the first one. So, number one thing to consider is the fish that you have. So if you have African cichlids, I suggest having one for at least every 10 gallons of aquarium. And this starts at about 40 gallons, because you don't want to go much lower than that for African cichlids. Now, the reason I, do, I say this is because African cichlids, as many of you may know, are aggressive fish. And with more fish in the aquarium, uh, the less aggression for each fish there is. So I suggest a minimum of one for every 10 gallons, but a maximum for one for every two gallons. So let's say if you have a 125 gallon tank, you could have 62 fish and you're not going to have a half a fish obviously. So 62 fish is the maximum. And I would suggest no lower than 12, no more than 62. So anywhere in between that is okay. Number two is hiding places. Um, you should either have none, oh, so they have no territorial issues, so they just swim around in the open tank, or you should have a ton. Now this depends on if you have Mbuna, um, peacocks, haps. Peacocks and haps, they generally like open spaces when Mbuna like the smaller rock rocks, because Mbuna is rock dwelling. So, either have no rocks or have a lot of rocks. Um, basically, whatever you want. Number three is I suggest very good filtration or an air stem. In this tank, you can see I have two sponge filters as well as I have a hang on the back filter. Um, you can't see it in the video right now. But, so just have a ton of filtration because with a lot of fish, there's a lot of waste. You want to get that cleaned out as fast as possible. I suggest the air stem. And again, with the amount of fish that you have with African cichlids, um, fish need air in their water, their oxygen. So I suggest having an air stone that will just make them all much healthier. Number four on my list is have heaters. Um, African cichlids obviously are tropical fish. They're from Africa, so they're used to really warm water. So I just suggest you have one to two heaters. The reason I say two heaters is because if one stops working you could at least have one still working for until you get a new one so it's basically a backup alright um, number five on my list is a variety of food and the reason I say this is because personally I've dealt with this problem my African cichlids are kinda of picky and that's because when I first got them I only fed them pellets now the reason I say variety of foods is because if you feed them variety of foods when they're younger then they'll be more open to eating more foods so it'll just be a healthier more balanced diet if you change it up every so often and with this it comes with research different fish need different foods cichlids they don't need as much protein as some other fish do so just research um, number six on my list is the substrate so African cichlids, um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see right now, but the sand on the bottom of my tank, they like to sift through it to get leftover food. I suggest either sand or fine crushed coral because um, gravel, it's harder for them to get the food through the gravel. So it's just much healthier for them, or much easier for them to get the food if it's sand. Number seven, I highly, highly, highly suggest this. I really underestimated this when I got fish my first time, but have a hospital tank. Now I'm not saying get a huge tank as backup. A 10 gallon tank is perfectly fine. Have a 10 gallon tank, have a good heater, good hang on the back filter. You can get all that for really cheap and just have it running under your tank or by your tank or what, wherever. Just have it constantly running because again, African cichlids are very aggressive fish. And if you find that one of your fish got injured, you, you definitely want to separate them immediately. This happened to me many times. Um, in this tank, it hasn't because 
there's many fish as you can see. All right, um, number eight is again with the tank size. I suggest a large tank. The larger the tank you can find, you can afford, is I suggest you get that right away. Um, I say, I suggest at least a 55 for your fish to be healthy, but if you really want to push the limits, 40 might be okay. You can't have many fish. My rule about one for every two gallons there would not apply. You cannot have 20 fish in a 40 gallon tank unless they are juveniles or fry like in this tank. That's why I have so many. All right, so large tank. Number nine is supplies. So this is a big category. You definitely want to have a net. You always need a net to catch your fish to separate them. You want to have um, chemicals. I have a dechlorinator because I use well water so that's necessary for my tank and just stuff like that. Um, number 10 probably the most important is time and commitment you really you really need to put a lot of time into your African cichlid tank um, I spend about three hours on this tank each week and it's definitely necessary doing water changes all that so those are my top 10 essentials for an African cichlid aquarium please comment on your opinions if those are right if I forgot anything Thanks for listening, guys, and enjoy.